Absolutely. So what are the critical areas when it, when it comes to making a will, for instance, where you think that it's important to understand that people should keep in mind when, it, whenever, when, when they are deciding to prepare a will? You see, first of all, their family requirements. You know, whether they want to go to their wife, to their children. At times, the people have got handicapped or special children. People have families, outside families. So depending on what their exact requirement is, you have to structure a will accordingly. There is no straight jacket formula which we have experienced. Each will is different to the other. Yes, the basic thing is that we want the testator, we want the beneficiaries, we want the details of estate. But these, how these are to be devolving on whom, etc., needs to be planned with each of the testator. Right. So some of the examples that you cited during your uh, presentation there, you said that, uh, so could you, could you highlight some of the examples where, you know, the succession planning was important, like you mentioned about a family in Gurgaon which had a, which had, which had deaf and, uh, deaf and dumb uh, kids and they wanted to kind of do that. So could you highlight that again for us? No, the, uh, maybe I can highlight two cases where this deaf and dumb case happened out of Delhi, where a large business family, they had these three daughters or four daughters, all deaf and dumb. And they adopted a son who was not doing that great and you know, he had some criminal background also eventually. And they wanted to plan that how the estate is going to devolve on these daughters. Then in his lifetime, he was able to find suitable matches for marriage. Because he was very wealthy, so he could have some people from middle class or lower middle class who, with whom these daughters were married. And then he had an extension plan in the will or the trust which said that when the eldest child will be of 20 or 22 years of age, at that point of time, the trust is going to extinct and the estate is going to devolve. For the simple reason, as I just said, that he thought in his wisdom that child may respect his mother, the husband may not. So this is a very unique example which you know, we became privy to handling. And the other was uh, a case based on Gurgaon. We are a very successful couple. Uh, younger child almost 6-7 years old and the elder child almost 24 years old. And they always thought that the son will come in dominant control of business, whereas the daughter would only be studying. So they wanted his daughter to make all mistakes of their life. So they created a structure where the wealth passed on to her at the age of 32. As well as the participation in business. So it all depends like, you know, what, what their needs are, what their fields are, and to what strata of society they are belonging. There could be very conservative traditional families. There could be ultra-modern families. So depending on what kind of family needs you are expected to answer, then it, it goes by that.